lovely people welcome back to daybreak again reactions i am pleased to see you coming back you know so we get this reaction through well you know i don't waste time but hey i am your host pato and i hope you enjoyed this reaction as well let's get right into action right guys so this is cal de nero from celerion and he got this one a this you know a reply to lyrical joe after he released the holocaust so let's get right into it and soak it you know yeah He calls this one class in session. Session people. Come to some of this cow that never in the building. Sierra Leone, man. <laughs> All right, cow in the building. Let me teach him a little something. Uh, we ain't worried about nothing. Uh, <laughs> we comfortable out here, man. Straight up. We comfortable out here, man. We are comfortable in Sierra Leone and we don't care what people will say. Let's go. You know how I get down. Exactly. Let's go. <laughs> right away you brought a knife to a gun fight how can you win you cannot bring a knife to a gun fight because it's all blazing you know fuck up the industry all i need is just one mic mic is my murder weapon just give me that and i will just spit fire punch lines and whatever you want exactly birds of the same feathers they flock together i am the hardest boy cow de nero haven't you heard about me yes i am sierra leone's best cow de nero and i'm coming for you all haven't you heard <laughs> when you are big and bold that is when you talk big and bold you have to dig to pack and biggie to stop this fella Cal De Nero says you need to go, all right, and they got Tupac, they got Biggie, bring them together so they can stop me, Cal De Nero. If not these two, nobody and no force is stopping me. Let's go. None of these rappers should ever really try me. Best never, never, never tell your favorite rapper that Cal De Nero says they shouldn't try him. Do you understand? Yeah. <laughs> gotta take it back you know miss something i gotta take it back i don't even need a big killing a cappella so he says he can do an a cappella to kill off lyrical joe he doesn't need the beat and all that he will just do an a cappella to kill lyrical joe deep Cal De Nero says best rapper in Ghana now call me Kwame so he says I am a Ghanaian guy now so call me Kwame so Kwame is every male every single male born on a Saturday okay that is the Ghana culture across West Africa there are stuff like that you are named on the day that you are born okay that is just your regular normal first name before you are actually given a name so every male born on a saturday is called kwame so think about the number of kwamis out there in ghana <laughs> to, face me, they to face me they have to bring 
a whole army, a whole army of whatever. Already he's mentioned that to stop him, you need to go dig up Tupac and Biggie. Aside that, you need to bring a whole army before you can stop him. This is big boy talk. If you are not a big boy, you don't talk like that. We gotta rewind, rewind, rewind. Salumbo Bobo Cow De Nero Kwame. Mostly I am in Miami. So if you know Miami, Miami is like Africa, you know? All sun, every day it's warm. It's not it's not cold over there. The weather is just a party weather, beach weather all the time. It's nice over there. So he says, Bobo, Saloon Bobo, I am always in Miami. I am always chilling. You know, that is my life. You gotta go back, alright? He says he is the juggernaut, you know? When we say a juggernaut, it's like um, a surge, a surge of force or something, you know, of greater force, you know? So he's like a force, he's like, you know, big force, you know, you can't stop him. He says he will be in Ghana anytime he wants and pussies won't be jack. You know, I can be in any time. I can fly in without, you know, a visa or a passport or whatever. I am Caldinero. I can do whatever I want and I can step in Ghana right about this moment and murder you all. That is big boy's talk. You know, he's calling um lyrical joe to come wash his car you know when you are the boss that is how you talk you'll be like hey small boy boy come around come wash my car daddy want to take a drive on the beach drive you know what i mean yeah lyrical joe be the wackest rap i have known for all these 20 plus years that Kyle De Niro has been in the music industry, in the hip-hop game. He says, Lyrical Joe is the wackest rapper he has ever come across. If you agree, let me know in the comment. If you don't agree, let me know in the comment. This should be peaceful and polite. No war, okay? He says the good thing for Lyrical Joe is kind of, you know, La low, la low, don't even reply me. You know, I ain't got time for this anymore. So just stay low, don't reply me. Lie low. Let's go back a little bit. Let me recapture. I'm the hardest of the hardest I came to make my people proud of course here the um Cardinero, he is making his salon people proud and they really love him they show love to him everywhere you can check on the um, internet much love man much love they got for this man take you back a little bit i need to catch up something yeah he's paying his respect you know to those who has um departed and that that is respect you know those who did it before you, you got to show respect to them. Especially when you're giving respect to your own people in your own country, you know, because some people were there before you, you got to show respect, you know. The softest nigga in the room be the loudest. You know when they say empty barrels make the most noise. So Kyle is saying the softest nigga in the room is the one 
making the most noise in the classroom you know you know a friend who is like that right <laughs> nigga, are you retarded how can they really get me started the internet gave this niggas a platform don't they really garbage one exactly kyle is saying the internet gave a lot of these niggas the platform you know even though they are garbage so the internet is giving a lot of people the platform to show what they got but whether it's of quality or not you'll be the judge all right so the things ghana is good at so he's taking a shot at you know rappers in ghana he says they are good with package that is the only thing they are good with as to which contest i don't know because when they say package package can be used in different contests you know i can tell you hey bro i will bring you this lady man and she is a whole package that means she got everything but ko i know this is a diss track so he is using package in a different way meaning something not of quality if you have any other um, interpretation of that you know let me know in the comment section right and he says they are they are just good for packaging and he sabi um is fit enough to damage them you know it's like i'm fit enough to damage them because they are just a package right i'm a savage good night to you fuck boy as i pull the fucking cartridge suck my dick to any cat sucker running his lips hoping i think that slow motherfucker i'm hoping he stink back to this amateur this nigga below my level i'm a rapping bitch nigga say hi to the devil he says lyrical joe is below his level all right so if you if you agree with that let me know in the comment i left them the stagger be ready for the drama fuck him and his boss any nigga from that side yo who came from ghana so he said you know i'm fucking him in his balls and you know fuck him and any niggas that come from that side ghana so he's taking a shot at the whole ghana and rappers in ghana Pray for them, Hail Mary. I mean, Hosanna. Yeah, that is a line from Tupac, you know. Yeah, you know, Tupac, he got a, a, a track called Hail Mary. Like, you know, it was about damage and all that. Nigga, I get locked up because I beat niggas. Put the beat on usually eat niggas. This nigga. Okay, so he says, nigga, I got locked up because I beat niggas. Okay, so this is actually um, a response or a confirmation um to lyrical joe that yeah you you talked about me getting arrested in 2016 or so so i think this is a response to him that yeah of course i got re i got arrested because i beat up niggas on the street okay might not even have a passport i'm a fucking superstar when i move out of the escort so all right so he says Lyrical Joe might not even have a passport. He's a fucking superstar who moves around with an escort. All right. He says, F. Sarkody, step in the boot and let's talk. So, this is a challenge. He's throwing shot at um, Sarkody that he wants Sarkody in the boot. But um, I don't know if that will happen. I guess. He says, Go check on Twitter. I'm not the nigga to fuck, fuck with bars on bars. So, you know, hey, that reminds me. And guys, you know what? If you catch something, if you catch something that is dope, you know, put it in the comment section. Like, um, any punchlines, like, you know, uh, wordplay, any metaphors that you catch it yourself, let me know. Put it in the comment section. I'll be reading it, okay? I'm the best they consider. Flammable flows. Shame on you hoes. Every day I step out, man. Changing new clothes. You heard an out of us. Civilian and murderers. Yeah, sure. Every day I step up, changing new clothes. So, you know. Cow is like, I, 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 I got it. I got this. You know, I'm the freshest boy. Every day I need to step out looking good in new clothing. You know, I own the boutiques. So anytime I want something, I just make a call and they bring it up. And I just step out looking all flashy and, you know, fine boy shit. But you just to bring bodies to the coroners. Damn boy, you still want to go with them. I'm a system. 
Damn boy, you still want to roll with us? I'm a diss him till he runs out of studio fees, you know? Kyle is like, hey, you can come at me a million times and then I will reply you a million times until you have no money to pay for a studio fees. Maybe that is when you will quit. We live to see, right? Whenever you meet me, make sure boy you be on your knees. I'm a dog. Alright, okay, Kyle is anytime you meet me, boy, you have to be on your knees. So, Lyrical Joe, this is to you. Wherever you meet Kyle, be on your knees, okay? Because you've met your master. Be on your knees. This is what Kyle is telling you. Come to Ghana, be on the trees. I can be your mom's boyfriend. Dick in the house, send you to the... He says I can come to Ghana, piss on the trees. I'm your mom mom's boyfriend i'll send you to the store when he talks shit i'll kick you out of the house so lyrical joe carl de Nero says you know i could i could be your stepdad and you know i'll be the type of stepdad when he talks shit i'll kick you out of the house okay he said i'm a blessed nigga i i i i i spend sponsorship money or he said i eat sponsorship money so that also we take it back to lyrical joe's um holocaust when he said um cow actually called a show got a sponsorship for the show and then he spent the the money before the show and he 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 couldn't pay for the speakers that you know he rented for the show right you remember that punches okay yeah so Kyle is punching back you know he's giving it back and saying oh yeah it's true what you said I spent that money and if you want some I can even cut you a check you know yep He's saying, make sure you get your facts right before you come to me. So next time, Lyrical Joe, when you want to get back to Cal De Nero, you have to really sit down, okay? Go into archives, go and do proper research and get all the information that is true, that, that are fact about him. So when you say it, everybody will know that you're telling the truth, right? Okay. Boss. Cow's the boss. <laughs> Say, no more. Say no more. It's like I'm the boss. You say no more. This is finale for you. Say no more, Larry Kojo. This is what Cow is saying. So, guys, you have heard it. In case you want to play it back to back and listen again. The ball is in your court. You decide. And like I said previously, any phrase, any phrase that 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 brought your attention or that caught up with your attention, anything catchy that you 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 feel was in this line, you know, just put a comment there, okay? I'll be reading the comment and you know we will chat, friendly chat. You know, in the comment section, try to keep your comments respectful, no attacking, okay? And I'm going to say this, if you come attacking anybody and disrespect anybody, hey, I got the power. I will block you out, okay? I will ban you from the channel. It's lyrical war. Don't bring emotions and then you start to this and all that. We don't need it right here on this channel. We are all about love. Respect the culture. Respect what these artists are doing, okay? That is the culture in hip-hop. If you want to support just support throw your support out there and i should say it's mostly good comment on this channel and uh um thank you all for passing through man i love the way you come in and you'll be like hey i'm for Kel, i'm for this i'm for lyrical joe i'm for this and it's being respectful so just keep it that way you know after all we are just one africa you know so let's keep it professional respectful and honest you know yeah, I appreciate the talent across, across, you know, across borders. 
okay so let, let's keep it that way all right keep the comments and the suggestions coming and um, let me know how you feel about this particular track like i said you know if you have any catchy phrases the lyrics let me know whether punchlines or something you think is like met metaphorical or something sweet you know that that really a part that you like let me know in the comment as well okay all right so thank you once again to all my subscribers and thank you for coming back to watch me if this is your very first time here i really appreciate the time you have taken out to spend this reaction time for with me you know come back again and um, help grow the channel if you haven't subscribed you know just do it do it. <laughs> just do it just like your brother did right hit the subscribe button and then let's go i'll be bringing you more reactions so stay tuned don't forget to hit the bell icon right to the subscribe button so that you will get the notification anytime i post something i will see you in the next reaction it's been your boy pato and i am out and it's, and it's, and it's, and it's, and it's human on the track.